So Yinmin blue is a fairly recently discovered blue pigment made of the oxides of yttrium, indium, and manganese, which is where it gets its name. All of those are in the plus three oxidation state. Uh, in, yttrium and indium are generally either in zero or three. However, manganese is all over the place. And as you'll see, it is much more troublesome to get into the desired oxidation state of plus three for this project. Yinmin Blue was discovered at Oregon State University in 2009, serendipitously, or accidentally, depending on your perspective, uh, by Dr. Maz Supermanian and his graduate student, Andrew Smith. I actually heard about Yinmin Blue from another professor of chemistry in Oregon at Willamette University, Dr. Karen McFarlane Holman, who has a YouTube channel called ASMR Chemistry, where she talks about chemistry topics in pretty good depth, definitely at a review level, uh, in a really calming voice, which is quite helpful if you're like me and you need external stimulation in order to relax and sometimes panic when you're trying to relax because you're not thinking about chemistry, which you're trying to get a degree in. It's a niche market, but her channel's great. Go check it out. She did a video about Yinmin Blue, and it happened to be right as I was working on the Ultramarine project, which I made a video about. She's also a musician, uh, which I relate with, because I am also a chemistry person and a music person. As a matter of fact, all of the music in this series of videos is my own music, in which I play most of the instruments. So after seeing that video about Yinmin Blue, I decided I would make some. In true chemist fashion, I didn't just go on the internet and buy all the oxides that I would need and then just blend them together and put them in a furnace. I decided to make things unnecessarily quite difficult for myself and start from indium, which also gave me a chance to play with indium, and manganese 4 oxide, which I happen to have on hand already, because my wife is a ceramicist, and uh, then I did just buy the yttrium oxide because I couldn't find elemental yttrium at a reasonable price, and they sell yttrium oxide for ceramicists. I am still at Lake Tahoe Community College, just wrapping up my associate's degree for transfer, actually three different ones, uh, and I'll be starting at some university in the fall. I don't know which one yet. So big thanks to Dr. Carl Franz and to Sean Ryland for allowing me to use the chemistry facilities. And also a big thanks to Brian Urian, Hannah Fridholm, and Grace Weber of the art department for allowing me to use their kilns in a way in which is apparently kind of destructive toward the longevity of the electric elements in the kilns. I did have to promise that I'm going to make a painting using the Yinmin Blue. We're also going to be testing it out as a ceramics glaze. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. 